At this point, you're probably eager to use a deep net in one of your own applications. If that's the case, let me introduce you to a few platforms that allow you to utilize these nets without the hassle of building one yourself. Deep learning platforms come in two different forms, software platforms and full platforms. Let's see how they work. A platform is a set of tools that other people can build on top of. For example, think of the applications that can be built off of the tools provided by iOS and Android, Windows and Mac OS, IBM WebSphere, and even Oracle BEA. So a deep learning platform provides a set of tools and an interface for building custom deep nets. Typically, they provide a user with a selection of deep nets to choose from, along with the ability to integrate data from different sources, manipulate data, and manage models through a UI. Some platforms also help with performance if a net needs to be trained with a large data set. Have you ever used a deep learning platform in one of your own projects? Please comment and share your experiences. Later in the series, we will introduce you to software libraries that will help you code your own deep nets. There are some advantages and disadvantages of using a platform versus using a software library. A platform is an out-of-the-box application that lets you configure a deep net's hyperparameters through an intuitive UI. With a platform, you don't need to know anything about coding in order to use the tools. The downside is that you are constrained by the platform's selection of deep nets as well as the configuration options. But for anyone looking to quickly deploy a deep net, a platform is the best way to go. A software library is a set of functions and modules that you can call through your own code in order to perform certain tasks. Deep net libraries give you a lot of extra flexibility with net selection and hyperparameter configuration. For example, there aren't many platforms that let you build a recursive neural tensor net, but you can code your own with the right deep net library. The obvious downside to libraries is the coding experience required to use them, but if you need the flexibility, they really are a great resource. Soon we'll take a look at ERSATS Labs, a dedicated deep learning platform that handles all the technical issues like code, deployments, and performance, and allows the user to go straight to modeling. We'll also look at two machine learning software platforms called H2O and GraphLab Create, both of which offer deep learning tools. Note that since the latter two are software platforms and not full platforms like ERSATs, they would need to be installed on your own personal hardware. Coming up next, we'll first see an overview of ERSATs Labs.